maybe that helps. I don't know. What's going on, guys? So this morning we're at uh, Ultimate Window Tint in Orlando. So um, I have to do a couple different things here. You're gonna start seeing. I've always wanted to do a vlog, right? But I didn't think a vlog would be interesting at the time when I was with my current schedule, with my past schedule, um, being that I worked at a shop six days a week. Literally, I'd go to a shop, I'd work for the day, and I'd leave. Besides the besides changing the type of cars that I worked on, pretty much every day was pretty much the same. So even though I wanted to do a vlog, I really couldn't do a vlog because it would literally just be the same thing, but like, let's change the car out this is what we're doing today or this is what's going on today so there's nothing there's no change there's no no story there's no there's nothing to to entertain you with and watch so now that i'm running sun solutions and i'm doing other things and i have more time away from the, the other shop that i'm working at uh i think now is a good time to start a vlog because i am doing still window tint automotive related issues or things um but it's not the same mundane routine so um fair warning these vlogs are probably gonna be fucking horrible <laughs> at the uh, at the very beginning okay the more i do it the better i'll get at you know shooting and, and cutting and probably talking and things of that nature so they'll probably be a little rough at first so um why am i here so i won't get into too much uh, but it is the winter time and business is slow, especially with Sun Solutions. I took two days, I was working six days a week at the other shop I was at, and I took two days a week off so I can work for myself through Sun Solutions and DSP and other various things that I do. Uh, but unfortunately, during the winter time, it has been very slow for me. And because of COVID, I started the company in February, and then the next month, like two weeks later, they like announced COVID and everything shut down. So typically you wanna make your money in window tinting during like the spring and summer so that you can put your nuts away for the winter time. Well, unfortunately, because my time was cut short during the spring, I didn't make as much money as I wanted to. Therefore, uh, I don't have the, enough savings to get me through the winter time. So that's what's going on right now. Um, I'm currently working at the other shop, Monday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And I will be at this shop. This is day one, but the plan is that I'll be at this shop on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. So this will be interesting. Um, I don't think this is not going to be a permanent thing, but probably through just to get me through uh, through the winter time. I did contact other local shops in my area that weren't a hundred miles away and an hour and forty minute drive. Um, but I'm very transparent with people and I'm very open and honest. So like, I think them knowing that I own a competing business nearby, um, plus coupled with that it is the slow season. So like they, they keep their, their main employees busy and they typically don't add more people at the very end uh, or during the winter time because they can't, they can't uh, typically get enough work for them. So that's why I'm out here right now. Um, but it's gonna be interesting. This is a nice little place. So this uh, Ultimate Window Tint is the sister company to Window Tint Z. Um, still the one in or the this is in Orlando, but Window Tint Z I believe is uh, it, I'm not too familiar with Orlando. It's, it's like Winter something, Winter Springs or Winter Haven. It's like another 30 minutes. So when I called when I called David asking him if he had any if he could get me any work through the winter time. Uh, not only was he generous enough to 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 oblige, but then he offered me to work at this shop, which is 30 minutes closer, which saves me an hour per round trip. So very excited. I'm trying not to talk too, too much here. So uh, that's pretty much the gist of it right now. It's going to be interesting when I'm here on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and you'll see that coming up. Um, but yeah, so this is day one of a new shop. I'm very excited. Uh, I know that there's three or four or five installers here this is a very busy shop i mean they're running 30 30 plus cars a day so there's that that new excited nervous feeling that i got going on um you know because i know i've been doing this for a long time and i know my my chops are pretty good um 
but you don't want to look like a, you don't want to look bad in front of other people. So you, you know, you, you you pull out the big guns and you make sure you do good work and and, and, and do it in a timely manner. So I'm excited. Um, yeah. I guess that's the current situation right now. So uh, I left a little early. I suppose the shop up was up at eight. And I planned on being here at 7.30 um, and I left my place at 5.30 and it's just a little early. Uh, I'm gonna be leaving my place at like 5.40 from now on. It should put me here at about 7.30ish, about 30 minutes before they open. So I just wanted to be on time the first day and make sure that I wasn't that guy. So yeah, that's the situation right now and uh, I gotta say. Alright guys, a little update. Um, so it's about 9.30 right now. We knocked out the first car. There was an R&R &R on an E300 Mercedes. It was like double layered with 5 and 15. It was pretty dark. Um, this shop is amazing. I think it's really great. It's a, it's, it's a good two car garage. Um, they got a nice little waiting area. They offer Lumar film. Um, I got Joe and Cody in there right now. Um, Joe's got like 15 years experience and uh, Cody, Cody just started, I guess, a few months ago, but they both got really good attitudes um, and they, you can tell that they really care about what they're doing. So um, as of right now, um, it looks like it's a good fit. I, I'm feeling good. Um, so yeah, we just got to keep grinding for the rest of the day. And uh, I got some pictures and stuff. I'll show you guys all around the shop and whatnot. So going good so far.
All right, it is now 7 p.m. The day is over. I am finally parked in my garage back home. I totally forgot to um, like do like a closing thing over there at the shop. Um, I think I think I was looking at the maps and uh, checking. There was like traffic just within Orlando or something like that. So once I hit the road, um, but I did want to close out. It was a really good day. It was a really good day. Um, I really like the shop, you know, not a massive shop, uh, not, not, you know, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it's got everything you need to crank out quality work, AC, temperature, I mean, temperature controlled bays, um, you know, protection from, from the elements, uh, quality film, plenty of room. I mean, what else could you ask for really? So, uh, Joe is really cool. He's been, uh, he's been in the industry 16 years, he says. Um, it is a very good installer, uh, and Cody, I think it was Cody, seems like a really cool guy too. They all seem really nice, all seem really nice. So I'm really, I'm excited for this. Um, the interesting thing is going to be Tuesday, Wednesday when I go crack, because actually, um, I'm staying the night in Orlando and I'm sleeping in the back of my van, uh, with an air mattress, which is right here. I picked up a... I picked up a twin size air mattress because I don't want to drive two hours, sleep for eight and turn around and drive another two hours. I might as well just crash um, in the van and then that way I can get a little bit more sleep and I don't go to the gym or something like that. So that's going to be interesting. That'll be the next one up, I guess. But uh, but yeah, I learned some cool things. I saw a couple cool things. Um, I saw someone put a Triumph blade. I saw Joe uh, put a Triumph blade in a side swiper to kind of like scrape off to scrape off windshields which was pretty cool um instructional uh, like you know like you give instruction guides to to clients they did it on one side was the instructions and on the other side they were cross promoting flat glass which i know it's not a new concept but like i never really even thought about that um there was one more thing I thought there was there was one more thing that was really cool. The the Triumph blade and the side swiper was cool. I've never seen that one before. Um, and I know there was one more thing, but I can't remember off the top of my head. You know, but it is a it, there's no plotter in the shop. It's all hand cutting. So um, I was double cutting and and just taking my time and and whatnot. So it was a really good experience. I'm really excited. Um, it's going to be a different crew on Tuesday and Wednesday. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah. I'm tired. I have uh, I have Zaxby's chicken to eat, and uh, I'm out. So y'all have a good night. I'll see you on the next one.